a few bits and pieces today. Uh, the first bit being, I've had to hold to a, this lock. The funny thing is, this lock wasn't actually working. Um, this this had seized basically. Um, they've had it apart, as you can see. I'm getting tempted to rip all these panels out and just replace them with uh, carpeted uh, plywood. Um, purely because they, they butchered a lot of the stuff in here. Screws for I don't know what reasons. Um, but anyway, today's thing was fixing this lock. Bizarrely, there's there's a little metal rod that runs down here. Um, and basically this had stopped working because the rod wasn't working properly. And when you looked, I mean it took me um, probably about two minutes to work out what was wrong. Because when they've done something to this before, they've actually put the metal rod in backwards. There's actually a, um, like a white fiber plastic type, um, little tiny thing where the rod hooks into and it keeps it in place and it puts it in the right position. Um, but they'd gone in the back. So this is why it didn't work properly. Um, but yeah, it's lots of little bits and pieces like that. I mean, like this, it's too too high up. So that's I'm getting really, I'm getting frustrated with this sort of stuff because it's just poor workmanship. But anyway, oh yeah, and I took the cover off <laughs> and the top. Um, they'd actually put a piece of plastic over the hole. Uh, as you can see, there's the marking of it. That, that was the repair they had carried out. This is where the old handle was. You know, when you get in and out the van. So I've got to do something with that, which I'm still deciding on. Because if I can get this section, because uh, this runs from there down to here, basically. So this one piece, if I can actually source a second-hand one, I'll just replace, the, replace it. Otherwise, I'll be doing some magic repairs on here and putting a new handle, um, correcting it. But, I mean, this is the thing. They put all these screws in. I think they put them in, put everything in the wrong place. So instead of actually working out where the alignments are, they've just drilled and screwed it. Absolutely nuts. Um, but hey-ho. Um, that's not why I'm videoing today anyway. <laughs> Funny enough. What we've got is... We're working on the curtain rails. I don't know if you can see this or not, because it's a bit dark. Let's see if we can focus in on it. There we go, that's our rails. They're going to fit inside the window. Struggling to zoom in on that. I don't know if I can do any further away. That's me. I'm going up in, up in here. There's not a lot to see, but basically the strip is going to go up in there. Um, why didn't we put it on the top? First one, along here it's too far away from the window. Um, the distance is too far. When you're sat in this seat, it's about halfway across your head. So it's no good up here. Angles on here ain't great. As you can see, it's not it's not ideal. So we'll just put them along the window. And on top of that, if we've got a drop on it, if we put a drop on the curtain, it would actually catch when the door opened. So this is why we're just going to insert here. And then there'll be like a Velcro strip going on there. So it's sort of fixed at the bottom but also a slide open and closed. The reason we're putting Velcro is because we've got the door lock and stuff here. So if we can Velcro it away, at least people can still use the lock um, and not mess around with the curtain too much. But yeah, there's another rail gonna go across the middle here. Another one across the window there. One on each of the back windows and one on the rear window. So that's today's project. Um, Fingers crossed, no headaches.